We are here in the capital of Germany, Berlin, for the weekend, and we are gonna show you 10 free things that you can do here in Berlin. Right now, we are at the Brandenburg Gate. This is a must, must see for your time here in Berlin. Right now, this is New Year's Eve weekend, so there's a lot of construction and stuff going on right here because they're gonna do a New Year's Eve party. But this is where we're gonna start our video. So here at the Brandenburg Gate, this was once a gate for the customs wall that went around the city of Berlin. And several historical events have taken place right here and it survived World War II. Although it was damaged, it still stood. This is a great place to start your trip and get your obligatory photo showing that you went to Berlin. On top of the gate, there are four horses, a chariot, and Victoria, the goddess of war. Now we are at the Topography of Terror Museum and Memorial. Here behind me is part of the Berlin Wall, and at this site was the former Gestapo and SS headquarters. And it's now a museum which you can uh, go to for free and check it out. If you're enjoying our videos, please like and subscribe to help us reach 1,000 subscribers. So there's a really nice outdoor exhibit that talks about the history of Berlin from 1933 to 1945, the start of the Nazi party, and different things that occurred during that time period. It's really cool to see. And they also have an indoor portion that we're gonna check out next. Well, the museum was, was really good. They even have um, an audio tour that you can do. They have a film that you can watch. Mm -hmm. And most all of the, the information um, panels were in both German and English. Yeah, so that, that was, was nice. really nice. I would recommend to spend at least an hour here to fully see everything. Okay, so we are now at Checkpoint Charlie. This was one of the border crossing checkpoints between East and West Berlin. You can come here, uh, take a look, and get your photo. And right across from the Checkpoint Charlie, there is a free open air exhibit where you can walk around and see some information panels and pictures and stuff about that time period. Behind me is the Reichstag. This is the German Parliament building, and they actually offer free tours. You can take a tour through the building itself, or they even offer special tours. You can go up to the glass dome and get a really good view of Berlin. Make sure you book the, the tour ahead of time uh, because it can get full, so try at least like a month ahead of time. Okay, so right now we are in the Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe. Uh, this is a memorial here in Berlin that consists of over 2,700 stone columns. Um, and this is a memorial that is really neat to see. Um, also, there is a museum that's underneath this uh, memorial that you can go visit for free also. So all of these columns create a maze and that helps to block out the city sound so it gives you the opportunity to reflect on this dark time in history.
So if you are a history person and you're into history of the Holocaust, uh, I will link our video to where we visited the Flossenburg concentration camp. You can check that out. So if you're tired of seeing all the sights in Berlin and you just want some peace and quiet and want to get outside, you should come to the Tiergarten. This is Berlin's oldest park and it is a perfect place to come walk your dog, take a stroll, go for a run, ride a bike, just spend some time outdoors. So this park is full of lots of walking trails and there's even a few lakes you can come in and see with cafes that are right on the edge of the lake. You can rent some boats and do a boat ride. But this is definitely a very um, easy and cheap way to come see this site. Right now it's December, so everything is looking kind of dead, but I'm sure in the spring and summer, this place is lively and vibrant and very beautiful. And this park is actually the second biggest here in Berlin at 520 acres. Before this park was open to the public, it was actually the hunting ground for the king in the 16th century. So also here at the Tier Garden, you can find the Victory Column which this column was to commemorate the Prussian victories. So this statue stands at 67 meters tall and it's free to come and visit this monument, um, but you actually can go to the top and there's a viewing platform, which is four euros. So since the monument is located in a traffic circle, you actually can reach the monument by going through a tunnel underneath the road. So this monument was actually completed in 1873. Uh, it was to commemorate the victories of uh, Prussia, uh, but since then it has actually been moved. This is not where it originally was placed. In 1939, uh, the Nazis moved this monument because they were trying to uh, redo Berlin and they moved it to this location here in Tiergarten. So right now we're at the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church. This church was built in 1895 to honor Germany's first emperor, uh, Kaiser Wilhelm. And this church was bombed during the World War II in 1943, and it was never uh, repaired. Uh, so you can still see the damage on this church um, from the steeple and from the stained glass windows that were broken out. It is free to go inside and there are multiple free tours that are offered throughout the day. Uh, some tours can even take you up to the tower. The inside has some incredible tile mosaics that are about uh, Kaiser Wilhelm and his life. Right now there's currently some water damage, uh, so we are not able to go inside today, but it's definitely something we want to check out at a different time. So we're here in front of the Humboldt University and there is a memorial here that is hidden in plain sight. So beneath me in the cobblestones is a empty library and there's a glass panel where you can look, look over and see the empty bookshelves. This is to memorialize uh, an event that occurred on May 10th, 1933, where students from the university uh, removed books from the library and burnt them here in this plaza. So they burnt any book that went against the Nazi ideology or had a Jewish author. During this event, over 25,000 books were burned. Right now, there's a Christmas market going on because it's during the holiday season. So we actually paid one euro to come in here and see it. But uh, when it's not the holiday season, you can come and see it free of charge.
So next stop here in Berlin, we are at the Tempelhof Airport. And you may be asking, why are we at an airport? Well, this airport is no longer in use, but during the Berlin blockade that occurred for 322 days, the Western Allies supplied resources to West Berlin through this airport. Supposedly, every 45 seconds, there is an airplane taking off or landing, supplying resources to West Berlin. In 2015, this airport was used to house Syrian refugees, and actually it has also been used to house Ukrainian refugees also. There is a visitor center where you can check out some history about this airport. Right now it's closed though uh, for the holidays. So now this airfield has been converted into a city park, making it the largest park here in Berlin. This place is massive. That's why it's a great place to come run, walk, fly a kite, ride a bike, uh, just come and enjoy some open space and enjoy nature. We missed the East Side Gallery on our trip, but it's the longest stretch of the Berlin Wall still standing, and it's now converted into an outdoor art gallery. Thanks for watching our video about the top things to do for free here in Berlin. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos of our experience here in Germany. If you're enjoying our videos, please like and subscribe to help us reach 1,000 subscribers.